Hello, I'm Janice Israeloff, and I'm celebrating Hanukkah. <laughs> Not bad for a little Jewish girl. Oy vey, mazel tov. Okay, so we have uh, we have a group of, of nurses here, right? A group of women in the audience. That's awesome. Um, I and moms too, right? I'm also a mom. I have three uh, three grown kids, two millennia, millennials, and a Gen Z. And um, yeah, any millennials? Uh, you have younger. You look like millennials. <laughs> I could be your mom. <laughs> you could be cringing right now, mom. Please don't tell your cringy sex jokes, please. And write some new material, mom, please. Yeah, I could be that mom. That's what they say to me when I do shows. Please don't 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 do your cringy sex jokes. But hey. Mama will not be cancelled. <laughs> I will not be cancelled. My own mother imparted some advice to me when I was a little girl. When I was just a little, little girl, she gave me some sex advice on how to keep a marriage alive. She said, you got to be a saint in the kitchen and a whore in the bedroom. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Yeah, oh my God, we got any cooks here? Got to look over here. Sir, uh, oh, hello, you, you, you a good cook? Sir, yeah, we've got some couples here. You a good whore? She's <laughs> laughing. She's like, yeah, he's a good whore. <laughs> yeah, if uh, you know, my experience, if I'm a really good whore, my husband does all the cooking. <laughs> my kids were always wondering why dad was a better cook. <laughs> now they know. His Alfredo sauce just doesn't taste the same. Mom. Yes, I've been married now for a very long time. I've been married now for 35 years. And um, good, no applause. <laughs> well, like, oh my God, poor hands. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've been married now for 35 years. And sex, after 35 years of marriage, it has, has a more spiritual feel to it. You like when it happens, it's a miracle! Praise Jesus! <laughs> now, as far as my husband's concerned, there will be no second coming. <laughs> he will not rise again. Mama is not getting nailed tonight. Okay, that's the last supper. <laughs> Pretty good for a little Jewish girl, eh? <laughs> Jesus references. <clears throat> no, we get we get uh, we get kinky. I like when my husband goes down into my basement, you know, dumps his dirty load of laundry into the washing machine. <laughs> really gets my panties wet. <laughs> That's clean comedy. I wouldn't want to be single though. Um, do we have single people here? I can't really see. Just uh, you know, I mean, maybe we do have some single people here. You're brave, you know, with the Tinder. And the swiping, and the wiping, and the shaving, you know? You know, I grew up in the 70s, you know, when a freshly mowed lawn was something Grandpa played golf on. No, really, all the shaving. I, what's up with that, ladies? Come on, you all look like hairless cats, you know? But my husband doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. He's French-Canadian. Yeah. He doesn't mind portaging through the bush in his canoe. <laughs> 100% Canadian art wood. Who wants to trap a beaver with no fur, eh? eh? Ba -boom -ba, Poutine. That's all I learned from French immersion. Ten years. Poutine. And I failed too. We have butt sex now. You can have sex with me, but you have to clean the garage. I actually learned a lot about cooking from doing open mics in Toronto. Well, you know, at open mics, I meet a lot of young men, and they talk about a lot of things. Like, I learned about tossed salads, and how to make a cream pie, and buttery truffles. Yeah, it's a new kind of Uber Eats app, you know? Yeah. What was I going to say next? What? Alzheimer's gone out the window. What's up with squirting though, you know? That's what I was going to say next. Yeah, I don't know. I can really get behind squirting, you know, because you don't want to get in front of that shit. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is, you know. Because I had three kids, I squirt when I cough. <laughs> That's true, I don't know. Um, the pandemic, eh? How about that? Yeah, you know, the one good thing that happened during the pandemic was I finally stopped getting my period. Finally. In 2020, like my doctor said, you know, towards the end of menopause, things can get a little heavy. Yeah, really? I, I felt like I was a dying star gone all supernova, you know? Jeez. Every month was like the season finale of Game of Thrones. <laughs> You know, I ended up at Cam H one time. I was I was passing like I was like bleeding so much. I was passing Cantaloupe Clots, which sounds like a punk band. <laughs> you know, Cantaloupe Clots. I finally stopped getting my period. I changed my pads from always to never again. <laughs> Did that? That worked really weird. But um, I am getting older. Scott talked about getting older. He talked about death. You know, and. Uh, I um, got a, a, what I do to feel young is I got a job in, in a nursing home. You know, right? You're like, you're like, I'm always the hottest and youngest at bingo. You know, B25. Yeah, I work in long-term care during the week. Um, I do activities, um, but really since 2020, it's it's short-term care, right? Is that what we're calling it now. No. Short-term care stuff. Still, still getting over the PTSD. You know, my job. It's sad sometimes. Like, I, you know, I, this one lady. She was not I, 98 years old, and um, and she said to me, she was very depressed. She said to me, she wanted to kill herself. Like, what am I supposed to say to her? You have your whole life ahead of you. <laughs> A lot can happen in two weeks. I do bedside visits, and sometimes. You know, I feel like an emotional prostitute because it's my job to make sure everyone has a happy ending. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to say the word prostitute on stage because I took a feminist comedy workshop and the word is sex worker. So I'm woke, you know, I took a feminist comedy workshop. It's sex worker, right? Because sex work is real work. It is, and don't I know it? You know how many blowjobs I had to give my husband before he renovated the kitchen? <laughs> One for each tile. We do, we do, we do pillow talk though. I love my husband, we do pillow talk. Uh, the first person to get Alzheimer's, the other one smothers them with a pillow. <laughs> and um, and that's, that's my time, I'm Janet Israeloff. Thank you very much. Bring back Patrick.